Inunaki Ridge, Inunaki Tunnel, Inunaki Village. Inunaki has been in the news a lot recently, and these places have once again sprung to the forefront of people's consciousness. There have been video games and movies made about the area, and these, in turn, have sent even more people back to check out the real locations they were based on. Perhaps the most famous of these locations is the infamous village said to exist outside the Japanese constitution. A village so terrifying, so violent, that any who enter, never leave it. But is Inunaki village a real place? And if so, where is it? What happened there to turn it into such an enduring, terrifying urban legend? Let's take a look. Inunaki Ridge is, of course, a real place. You can find it towards the top of Kyushu, northeast of Fukuoka City. It's also here that you can find Old Inunaki Tunnel, one of the most famous ghost spots in the entire country. The story behind the tunnel is a tragic one, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about what went down there. But if you believe the stories, the tunnel isn't the only haunted location nearby. Even worse than the now closed and abandoned tunnel is the nearby village. This village obeys no law but its own. Even the Japanese authorities avoid it and leave the people to govern themselves. But is this true? And if so, where exactly is this village? According to the legend, to reach Inunaki village, you must first take a small side road past old Inunaki tunnel. This path is incredibly small and easy to miss, so most people struggle to find it to begin with. Once you've found it, follow that path all the way to the entrance of the village. There, you'll find a sign that states, the Japanese constitution is not in effect past here. Once you see that sign, you'll know you've found it, but that's not all. Past the sign, you'll see an old, broken down sedan, left abandoned by a couple who found the village long ago and, unfortunately, were never able to leave. The village is said to be full of traps designed to kill and maim, and if you happen to stumble across the villagers themselves, they will attack you in a murderous rage with their hatchets and sickles. The sign did warn you, after all. Inunaki village is a lawless land, and it's filled with people who were born and grew up outside of civilization. They can, and will, kill you on sight. According to the rumors, the village was isolated and cut off from the outside world during the Edo period. While the rest of Japan was forced open and began modernizing, Inunaki village remained isolated, continuing their way of life and, due to their small population, even carrying out incest to keep their numbers alive. So much time had passed that the government supposedly decided to leave them be and treated the village as a special reservation, meaning they wouldn't interfere in what went on there. If you were foolish enough to continue past the sign warning you that the constitution was no longer in effect, then you were entirely on your own. But is it true? Does this lawless village really exist? There's a lot of concrete information for a place that may or may not even be real. A place that supposedly claims all who enter it. So where does the truth lie? First things first, a real Inunaki village did exist long ago. In 1889, it merged with the nearby Yoshikawa village, which over the years then merged with other nearby villages. And that area is now in Miyawaka City, not too far from Inunaki Ridge. The exact site of the old Inunaki village has since been submerged thanks to the construction of the Inunaki Dam in 1994, however. So no, this isn't the Inunaki village that people speak of today, because what's left of that village is now entirely underwater. Then what about the village of the legends? Where can we find that? The directions in the legend are pretty straightforward after all. Follow the small path along old Inunaki tunnel, and you'll find it at the end. The problem with that is that there isn't a small path you can follow. And in this era of Google Maps, you can even search the area for yourself. There's nothing out there but forest and mountains. 
But the village might be hiding under the trees, I hear you saying. Well, aside from the fact that the legend literally states that the village is an open area and you can find an old car in that wide open space, something you can easily see with Google Maps, there's something else that lets us know that this village is nothing more than a story. The legend originated from the internet. In late 1999, Japanese TV channel NTV were taking user-submitted requests for mysterious stories and locations around Japan. The following story was submitted to their website by Anonymous, with the title, The Village in Japan That Isn't Part of Japan. There's a famous ghost spot in my hometown of Inunaki Ridge, in Fukuoka Prefecture. I don't believe in ghosts at all, but even putting that aside, this place is really strange. There's a small path you can easily miss to the side of a particular tunnel in Inunaki Ridge. As you climb that path, it will gradually get smaller. But when you reach the end, you'll come across a village that you won't find on any map. There's a sign on the way that states, the Japanese constitution is not in effect past this point. One night, one of my friends wanted to go there, and he found a prefab hut at the entrance to the village. He stopped the car suddenly, and while he was looking at the hut, four or five men gathered around him, and they were looking right at him with pissed off looks on their faces. They approached the car with incredible speed. Shit, he thought. My friend panicked and tried to turn around. The entrance to the village widened enough to allow a U-turn. But then, the back of his car was destroyed with hatchets. Another friend of mine tried to go there during the day. The village was empty. There were several run-down wooden houses with beat-up doors, and there was a wide open space with a mangled white car in the middle. It had a Shimane Prefecture number plate. Come to think of it, didn't a couple from Shimane go missing around here a while back? Another strange thing is that, regardless of your provider, all cell phones go out of range in the area. My phone has done the same. And while it's unconfirmed, I heard that if you try to dial the police from the public phone at a nearby convenience store, it doesn't work. I heard from someone that the police and government aren't allowed to interfere in the area. It's some sort of protected space? I mean, yeah, despite being a famous spot around here, the TV stations never go past the ridge to film anything. According to one rumour, the village suffered terrible discrimination in the Edo period and cut themselves off from the outside world. That village alone has become self-sufficient, and because there aren't many females, they partake in incest with close family members over and over. There are stories that they're genetically messed up, but that's just speculation, really. My hope is that you can look into this as soon as possible. Recently, the number of kids looking for the place as a joke has increased dramatically. While the story didn't originate on Nichan, once this particular request to NTV was shared there, the lid got blown right off. Other users in the thread commented that they'd never heard such rumours before and how impossible it was for such a village to exist in the first place. Even before Google Maps, people pointed out that such a village existing outside Japanese laws was impossible. After all, during the war, soldiers were conscripted even from the most far-flung and hidden villages. No one was able to escape. And Toyotomi Hideyoshi conducted a nationwide land survey in 1582 that covered every square inch of Japan for taxation purposes. And if there's one thing that you can believe, is that the government will take as much tax as it can get. It was, as users pointed out, more likely that Ishii, the lake monster of Lake Ikeda, or Tsuchinoko existed than this hidden Inunaki village. By this point, Inunaki Ridge had already developed a reputation as a ghost spot. The incident at the old tunnel took place in December 1988, and it wasn't too long after that that rumours began to spread about it being haunted. 
Yet it took another decade for the legend of Inunaki Village to be born. All thanks to one person's anonymous online letter to a TV station. It was, in essence, one of the very first Japanese internet creepypastas. The story was copied and pasted over and over, and it didn't take long before it took on a life of its own. Many of the details from this letter became the facts of this village. The small path, the sign, the old car, the angry villagers, phones not working, etc, etc. These things have never changed. And yet despite growing technologies, people refuse to give up on the idea that this lawless village exists somewhere out there. Even if we set the creepypasta aside and assume for a moment that, yes, there's a hidden village out there that few people have ever found, and nearly all who did, died. It's just not possible. In this age of satellites covering every part of the globe, where you can go and scour Google Maps yourself right now, and see that there's nothing out there but trees. In this age of YouTubers and streamers with cameras and drones, many of which have scoured Inunaki Ridge meticulously themselves, looking for this village and yet turned up nothing. You can believe that if any of them actually found it, it would be everywhere. No one wants to miss out on being the first person to officially uncover an urban legend with real, solid, tangible proof. And is it really believable that the Japanese government would just shrug their shoulders and let a village exist on their land, outside their jurisdiction, not paying any taxes, just because, well, they've got sickles, we better leave them alone to do what they want? The legend of Inunaki Village is nothing more than a creepypasta that gained fame on Nichan back before the turn of the millennium. Yet, the idea was so compelling that it was shared over and over without a source, to the point that there are adults hearing the story now who weren't even born when it was first shared. Its origins can quite easily be traced, but that's not the fun part for people. The fun part is in imagining that it's still out there. That they might be the first person, after all these years, to finally discover it. The stories are far more interesting than the truth, and that's why the legend persists to this day. Not because people really believe in it, but because it's more interesting than the alternative. A world without mystery is a world without fun. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.